Hi, beloved ones of God. I wanted to reflect on Good Friday and Easter, and this time uh, around this season, I felt the Holy Spirit led me to Judas Iscariot story. And uh, as I was pondering on Judas Iscariot story, and you know how we usually uh, how we feel pity over Judah. I mean, like he he had he had Jesus as his uh, spiritual leader, as his mentor, um, and uh, sometimes how we feel like you know how Judas missed. Like you know, sometimes there is pity, sometimes there is that you know. I wish you know he would not have uh, cut short his destiny that way. We feel so much sorry for him, and uh, as I was looking into the character of Judah, I felt from outside when you look at Judas, we feel pity at him. But I felt the Holy Spirit uh, speak to me that many times we also. Trade just like Judas, like how Judas traded Jesus for thirty pieces of silver coin. Sometimes we trade the glory of God for cheap, for cheap stuff, for cheap egoistic pleasures. And uh, when we get overcome by anything that is away from love. We exchange the glory of God. We exchange the goodness of God for cheap stuff, for cheap egoistic momentary pleasure or momentary satisfaction. And uh, I'm so I'm so glad that the story of Jesus doesn't end with crucifixion. It begins with resurrection. and i often wonder like you know it's not like there was any disciples that had um, so much of uh, what do you say that stood the test of time like when jesus was crucified it's not like there was any dis- disciple who stood with jesus i mean like everyone failed but it was judas who didn't wait for embracing god's love like if you if you look at uh, if you look at uh, peter even he fails you know he betrays jesus but uh, we see in the story that you know as peter waits on god's love he gets redeemed he gets restored and god god restores him i mean like every disciple when jesus resurrects we look like how god inquired every disciple that had little extra doubt jesus waited to confirm their faith uh, jesus waited to restore them back but uh, it was judas who gave up on himself and uh, he wasn't around when jesus was willing to you know in the flesh when he was willing to restore that's why i say do not give up on god's love for you do not give up on god's love for you no matter no matter how much we mess up whether it is external circumstances or whether it is our own mess up just wait wait on his love for you we we'll wait on we we'll let us wait on his love for us his love never gives up on us his love never gives up on us and thank god thank god that jesus story doesn't end at crucifixion but it begins at res- i say begin i won't say that the life of jesus ends with resurrection it begins with resurrection because he continues to live inside of us so when we look at judas judas had jesus physical association but now with jesus resurrection now his spirit dwells inside of us he lives inside of us we have unlimited access to jesus love and as we have i just want to remind us i want to remind us that 
God is willing to resurrect every dead thing that is consuming us and destroying us. God is willing to resurrect every dead thing that is consuming us and destroying us. When worry hits our minds and souls, let us remember the power of resurrection of Christ. By this power, I command God's redeeming love to flood our beings so that worry has no place in our lives. Well, when worry hits us, I pray that His redeeming love floods our being so that worry has no place in our lives. When surrounded by fear, I resurrect the love of Christ to overwhelm us so that fear has no place to reside within us. When doubt overwhelms us, I resurrect the goodness of God to overshadow us that doubt no longer follows us. When hopelessness follows us like a shadow, I resurrect the love of God to overshadow us so that hope would not consume us, that hope would consume hopelessness. When jealousy rises within me, I resurrect God's love to arise so God's goodness drives away the jealousy. In every area where there is torment, with shame, resentment, bitterness, offense, unforgiveness, I speak the resurrection power of Christ to sweep us off with His redeeming love. With His redeeming love. With His redeeming love. When we are tempted, like Judas is career, let us remember that His redeeming love, that His resurrection power is inside of us that His Spirit dwells inside of us. We don't have to succumb to cheap pleasures. We don't have to succumb to cheap egoistic pleasures for the exchange of the glory of God that is residing within us. God is willing to resurrect every dead thing that is consuming us like a poison that is wanting to destroy us. I pray that every dream, every dead dream be resurrected in the name of Jesus. This time as we reflect on his crucifixion and resurrection, I pray that every single one of you who feel that the dreams are gone, that the dreams are dead, that the desires are dead, I pray that we would give permission for God's resurrection love to resurrect the dream, to resurrect that promise. Every dead thing come alive in the name of Jesus. Every dead thing came alive, come alive in the name of Jesus. Every dead dream come alive in the name of Jesus. Every promise that is long forgotten come alive in the name of Jesus. His resurrection power is available to us today. And His love never gives up on us. His love never gives up on us. We don't have to exchange the resurrection power of Christ, the glory of God for cheap stuff. His love doesn't give up on us. His love doesn't give up on us. He's ready to redeem. He's ready to redeem us. He's ready to resurrect every dead thing in our life. Let us not give up like Judas is Iscariot, but let us Trust in God's love for us, that His love never gives up on us. Let us pray. Precious Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, thank you. You are an amazing God. Thank you, Jesus, that your story doesn't end with crucifixion. 
but your story begins at resurrection so that we have hope so that there is hope for us there is hope for our lives that the resurrection power is available for us that every time when fear knocks our doors that the redeeming love of Christ responds to that knock with hope so that the hope may consume hopelessness thank you jesus thank you in every instance where there is worry where there is fear where there is shame lord i pray that your resurrection power is at work thank you jesus thank you help us help us lord help us to not give up on your love so that we may be able to see and enjoy the redeeming work that you are willing to do with our lives lord thank you thank you for your redeeming love over us over us thank you that you love to redeem us from darkness you love to redeem us from ourselves sometimes we ourselves are an obstacle to the destiny that you have for us and thank you lord that you are ready to save us from us to save us from our old mindsets to save us from our misunderstandings thank you jesus thank you lord thank you i surrender every heart i surrender every heart that is listening to this voice i pray the touch of god over them i pray for the touch of god over them may they experience the redeeming love of god that is willing to restore that is willing to redeem that is willing to love that is willing to turn around thank you jesus that your love gives us beauty for ashes thank you lord thank you that you redeem us that you redeem our time thank you that you love us so much thank you that during this season of remembering you your love at the crucifixion your love at the resurrection thank you jesus that you never give up on us thank you for your love us in jesus name i pray amen amen thank you dear ones i pray that uh, this small message has blessed your heart thank you god bless you have a wonderful day